Coming up on Mountain News this morning, Kentucky health officials remind men in our region to focus on their health. And Kentucky hospitals show some appreciation for first responders during a special ceremony. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Five thirty-three now on this Friday morning. I'm Dakota Makris, and you might it might be a little bit cooler for you if you're heading out the door this morning. Brandon, again this morning, I did not pay attention to how cool or how hot it was outside because let me tell you, when I walk out the door, my mind is on getting to the station. Yes, yeah. so, <laughs> it was still a bit muggy this yeah. morning. I had the air on in the car, but it didn't fog up as much okay. like the windows like it did before. So it's starting to slowly drop. Not quite there just yet, but I'd say by later this morning, we'll start to see some rain chances come in here and that will help us out some. Let's take a look at our cameras right now. We're looking at uh, US 119, US 23 as a truck rolls through the intersection there. But again, no major issues over there this morning. We're looking pretty good. Temperatures still in the 70s, pretty much area wide, close to 80 in Moorhead, Jackson and Prestonsburg this morning. 67, the cool spot in Clintwood. Your 12 hour planner for today, heading up to about 89 before the rain settles in. We could see some stronger storms and some of those could be severe so have a way to get those alerts like that WYNT weather app handy at all times and then we'll see those temperatures drop as scattered chances for rain continue heading into the early evening hours. Dakota. All right, Brennan, thank you. One man is dead and a law enforcement officer is injured following an incident on I-79 near the Weston exit in Lewis County, West Virginia. Well, the Upshur County Sheriff says emergency crews responded after receiving a call from the director of the Upshur Office of Emergency Management. The director says at first he thought a wreck had occurred in that stretch of I-79, but once he stopped his vehicle, he witnessed a man shooting at traffic. While responding to the scene, the sheriff says uh, Chief Deputy Sheriff Mike Kaufman was shot in the thigh. He's expected to make a full recovery. Well, Kentucky State Police released the names of two people found dead Wednesday night. The two women were found in the Lost Creek community of Breathitt County. Police say 77-year-old Brenda Mullins and 76-year-old Sharon White were inside a home. KSP reports that one of the victims started a car that was parked in a garage below the home, causing both of the women to die of carbon monoxide poisoning. The police say no foul play is suspected. A woman trusted to care for and protect kids has been arrested on a number of child sex crimes. April Bradford is a now suspended assistant principal at South Floyd Elementary School. Investigators say her arrest comes decades after the alleged crimes involving the sexual assault of minors, first dating back more than two decades ago. The charges are related to claims made by two victims who were minors between 1997 and 2007 at the time the alleged crimes occurred. Now, state police say at this time they are not aware of any other victims. In a statement, Floyd County Schools Superintendent Anna Shepard says Bradford has been suspended. She went on to say, quote, during the suspension, the administrator was instructed to not enter the grounds of any district property. Floyd County Schools policy prohibits us from talking about personnel matters until final action is taken, end quote. Bradford was taken to the Floyd County Detention Center, but is out on bond. Police are looking for two escaped inmates. Take a look now at your screen. Police are searching for 30-year-old Logan Hall and 42-year-old Larry Foster. Police say the two were on a work release crew. Police say the two walked off in the Coal Run community. If you have any information, you are asked to call police. Well, it's Men's Mental Health Month, and health care providers are encouraging men to get their annual wellness checkups. Our Jade Saylor talked with nurses at CHI St. Joseph London about the difference a checkup can make. There are several illnesses and diseases men could be at high risk for. They're also less likely to see a doctor regularly, especially just for a well check. We see people come to us when they're sick, thankfully, but we'd like to see people when they're well so that we can keep them well. Healthcare workers are using June, Men's Mental Health Month, to urge men to get their annual wellness checkups. So some of the common things that we do in a well check for men is we set them up for colorectal cancer screening, which is preventable if found early. Testing for some things that men may be developing but never showing symptoms for. Also check for prostate cancer um, via a blood test. It's not the way it always used to be. And so easy things that we can do to really protect the long-term health prospects. 
using examples of perfectly healthy men that were diagnosed with easily treatable cancer found early due to a wellness check. Well, we were able to get him in with someone. They found it early. He didn't even have to undergo major treatment for cancer. Um, we probably fought him a long time. Healthcare providers say it's better to be safe than sorry. At least once a year, check in with a health professional. Make sure that you're up to date on your preventative screenings. Men are also less likely to go to the doctor when they are sick or for a wellness check than women. In London, Jade Saylor, WYMT, Mountain News. Some examples included in men's wellness checks include heart tests, blood pressure, colorectal and prostate cancer, cholesterol, and more. Well, yesterday was the second annual Blessing of the Rigs at CHI St. Joseph in London. Blessing of the Rigs was created to show appreciation of EMS, first responders, and police by bringing them food, drinks, and having a priest pray over them. It's an annual event that we're going to start doing just to show the first responders how much we appreciate them and part of our human kindness campaign for the facility and the market. Well, the idea was originally created last year when the pandemic was still booming to show appreciation for first responders, but they wanted to continue to thank them for their service every year. Well, a very special guest stopped by our station here in Hazard on Wednesday. Louisa native and American Idol winner Noah Thompson is our guest on Monday night's Issues and Answers. He and WYMT anchor Steve Hensley talked about his time on American Idol, the highs and the lows. He says he really never believed he could win it, but others did. Arthur was always so confident in me, and all them boys back home were. They, they were always so, um, they truly just believed in me and told me that I could do it. Well, Noah recently ret returned from CMA Fest in Nashville. He says he cannot wait to get back to Nashville so he can do what he loves. He tells us he plans to write more original songs. Well, day one of the Perry County Fair is in the books after offering Eastern Kentuckians a party in the park. Our Zach Hawk has more on what is going on at the fair the next couple of days. He's getting up, he's getting over. Unique attractions are on display at the Perry County Fair this year, including Expogo, best known from NBA halftime shows. I went all the way to Oregon to do the Blazers halftime show, and then we went from Oregon to Sacramento, Cali, to go uh, do the Kings halftime. And eventually to Hazard, Kentucky, for the sixth ever Perry County Fair, back for the first time in two years, exciting Judge Executive Scott Alexander, who helped plan the event. We started the fair because we wanted to give uh, kids of Appalachia, East Kentucky, and Perry County experiences that sometimes they may not get. So. We went out and got venues that hadn't been here before. Gates opened at 4 p.m. amid record-breaking temperatures and crippling humidity, making the free access to the pool one of the most popular attractions, followed closely by an Aussie Kingdom exhibit. It's an educational program all about Australia and the animals of Australia, and we bring several different species of birds, reptiles, and kangaroos. These animals join a petting zoo that might look a little more familiar and a range of more common attractions, vendors, and live music, all accessible by a trackless train. You know a lot of our people travel to Lexington, travel to Gatlinburg and stuff, so we want to give opportunities for people to keep their dollars here and have great family fun entertainment. The pool, mist stations, and free water are all available to people to help stay cool in the blistering heat. In Perry County, Zach Hawk, WYMT, Mountain News. Well, I want to see the kangaroos. Well, parking is available at Perry Central High School, and a shuttle can bring you up to the attractions. The fair continues this evening from 4 to 10 and Saturday from noon to 10 with live music both nights. Well, just ahead this morning, a country music legend, oh, well, she opens her wallet once again for the good of our nation's children. The heat is on the way out for now, but it'll be right back before you know it. I'll have the latest in about three minutes.